they shouldn't be protected and they shouldn't have been protected this whole time because they've been acting like a publisher for years. They have been silencing one portion of the community, one portion of America. They have been specifically targeting and persecuting this type of talk because they don't agree with it. And again, this supersedes, you know, the, well, Twitter and Facebook and Instagram are private companies, so they can do what they want. No, this goes into actual election interference and manipulating the minds of millions of Americans because they have a monopoly on these platforms and they are only allowing one side of the political board to actually have a voice and speak. And again, you know, we saw that Uganda actually censored their internet we'll for Twitter. and Twitter, of course, was like, oh my gosh, this is awful. I can't believe you guys are doing this. This is such a threat to democracy and threat to free speech. And every conservative in America is just sitting back and laughing like, yeah, isn't that kind of funny how that works? How when you sign people, it is a threat. It's ridiculous. So again, Andrew, I mean, I really am just black this week. I finally have reached my limits with a lot of things and I'm trying to be as positive as possible. But I'm being realistic when I say that, again, the left isn't going to stop until we're destroyed. And this is just the beginning. They're going to continue to demoralize us and push us and push us and push us. And until people have had enough of it and finally decide to stand up for themselves, the left is just going to keep doing what they do best. They're going to persecute us and they're going to make fun of us and they're going to destroy our lives. That's it.